In my first two videos, I've had a shot at proving what I think makes tiles necessary. This time around, I want to present how these tilings fit together. The purpose of this video is being intuition fuel for the Hartwig and Nelson problem. And, well, eye candy. If you neither know what this problem is about, nor basics of graph theory, then you might want to pause this video and brush up on that first, in order to fully appreciate the visuals presented here. Although it's nice to look at even with missing background information. First, I should provide some context so you can properly interpret what you're about to see. As I had mentioned in the previous videos, tilings are more efficient the bigger the tiles are, and many tilings only work when the tiles have a diameter of precisely one. Most of the tilings you will see here fall into that category, with this hexagonal grid and what's close enough to it being the only scalable tilings presented. The colored tiles represent the colored vertices of the plane, and no two vertices at distance 1 are allowed to share the same color. The tiles are actually all partially bounded and fit together perfectly, with each single point only having one color. The black borders of these tiles are shown here purely to improve the visualization. This depicted area here is the exclusion zone of a given tile, the area in which every point is a distance one to another colored point of that tile. They will always be shown around dark blue tiles to make visually clear how and why these tilings fit together. As with the tiles, the white border is purely here for visualization purposes. All the surrounding tiles that are intersecting an exclusion zone can't have the same color as the excluding tile. And with that out of the way, here are these tilings and their recording chromatic numbers.